Revelation for like season 4 episode 8 I said that Babylon was the mother of false religion I said that the ideology of our present day idolatry can be traced back to Babylon God refers to this idolatry as fornication and that's why this religious system is personified in Revelation 17 as a great harlot in that episode we focused on the mystery of the harlot's identity but we didn't get into the mystery of her fornication. Let's get into it. The episode titled Mystery Babylon introduced us to the great harlot. We see her with a golden cup in her hand. Revelation 17 4 says, and the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. It was clear from that episode that she partakes of her own filthy, abominable fornication. We looked at how the false religion of Babylon evolved into the false religion of Persia, Greece, and finally Rome. We also looked at how wide this idol worship has spread throughout the world, penetrating as deep as the names of planets, months, and days of the week. Whenever we call those names, we unknowingly ascribe deity to the Roman god they are named after. God sees all of this as fornication, giving to another god what is rightfully and legally his. However, verse 2 of Revelation 17 gives a very important piece of information about how God sees this fornication. It says, while referring to the harlot, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. The kings of the earth are complicit in this fornication. They commit the idolatry with her, and as we know, they're in league with the Antichrist, so they know what's going on. The verse says, however, that the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. This indicates that the inhabitants of the earth largely participate in these idolatries without being conscious of what they are. After all, a person who is drunk is not conscious of what is actually happening around them. I am sure most of you watching this have been largely unaware of the meaning of a lot of the names you call daily. The planet we call Saturn, for example, is named after the Roman god of the harvest. Saturday is actually Saturn's day. These names were given as an act of worship to the false god Saturn, but they're integrated into our world system. We don't call them for the purpose of idolatry. We call them because that's what we have to call them. That's what they are according to the system. This is a study in itself. But the takeaway here is that God has acknowledged that the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk. They have been fed the wine for so long that they are not in their right minds about that which they are drinking. God is aware and he's going to judge the harlot for this drunkenness. So if you are learning about these things for the first time, don't be alarmed at the fact that you have been using these idolatrous names. God holds the harlot the religious system accountable for that of which we have no choice. This has been a Revelation for Life Extra. Be sure to check revelationforlife.org and wtcmi.org for more exclusive content and catch up on our current and past seasons on Facebook and YouTube. This is Revelation for Life.